is your company expanded with with the uh, with the rapid expansion of Shenzhen? 诶，是这样的。首先，第一个的话就是一个呃供应链啊啊呃，因为在中国，在特别是深圳，它的这个周边的电子产品周边的，包括外壳配件，包括工业设计，包括里面的物料，包括呢整个的生产制造体系都非常的完善。那么在深圳的话呢，它呃第一个它高效。呃，第二个的话呢，它有完整的这个链条，所以说供应非常的急需性质，那么就可以呃，在这个在这个点上，能够呃，相对于其他中国的其他地方，包括国外的其他地方，可能相对更加会有一个优势所在。第一个人才，第二个就是人的这种他的这种呃，很大家非常专业性高强。有讲了这么多呢，实际上呢，就是我们的投资啊，或者什么，那这个金钱的来源于政府的投资。嗯，这个钱呢，是我们国有企业有一部分啊，是国有企业所贡献的啊，一部分是税收的啊，税收的，实际上我们的日常税收是靠这个重复财政养活，嗯，这个在职人员。它是重大的一些工程项目，是靠什么？我们国有企业挣出来的利润交给国家，国家呢拿这个钱来进行投资。国家拿这钱，为什么国家来这个统筹这个投资来投资呢？它就解决各地区的发展不平衡的地方。如果是在地方，这个钱在地方，这国家是是没法调配的，所以只有在这个。国家的手里来集中东西，特别是这几年、这十年，西部的大发展是能看得到的。现在的经济增长高的也是在西部，这个得益于我们国有企业吧，也有好处，也有也有说不利的一面。但是这一方面贡献还是还是有你国对国家有贡献。Investor loan soft service is like um, we're here, as I said, uh, if people who are interested in doing business in Macau, investing in Macau, where should they go? They should come to us, they should call us, uh, because uh, we're going to provide uh, investor with one soft service.
So we've set up our own training center in the Philippines to make sure that things are clear and we're, what we are aiming to do is create an, a pathway where workers are able to migrate without being charged fees and they're safe. Um, which means like we keep in touch with workers and make sure they uh, feel respected throughout the process from the point where they're applying with us. Like we'll take into account things like their preferences for a job, their job. Like do they want to take care of babies or do they want to um, be more of a household per cleaning type person, you know? We take in those into account, but that's not how it's been done in Hong Kong. Um, they, if you visit an employment agency here, they will just give you an album full of bio data. A woman's picture, her height, her weight, if she's married, what religion she is, what her parents did, and all of this stuff that is has no bearing on how successful she'll be as a worker. Um, and then also after a uh, worker is placed, um, we follow up with workers two weeks into their placement just to make sure that everything is okay with her, she is satisfied with the whole process. design thinking workshop for students before they go to do their service learning project because we believe that uh, one, of, one of the process of design thinking is called empathy. We want students to know uh, the needs of the community before they go down. Confidential com company information, like the framework, like how and why they build the company, just how how much they work and how much they study. How it makes sense for Hong Kong to like open up to this because then they're allowing for their own residents to be out in the workforce rather than working at home. I think we've said this a lot, but I wasn't really expecting as much how much how much personal input went into each product and how much how much actual uh, human touch was in each product. What they're doing is actually like shifting the entire market dynamics and taking the power from like because previously they would charge the employees and now they're charging the potential employers and that kind of result like 
resonated with me? Uh, humanistic for the workers to like at least have like go into a house where they are doing what they like to do. This corporation to have a start in today's business, it starts with an idea. And that's where the university helped cultivate these students to have this idea. I'm really surprised when the um, when they mentioned that they took all of their employees on a bonding uh, trip, that was regardless of where in that kind of hierarchy they were working. They don't have engineering courses, but they invite other experts to the college and collaborate with them. And they are learning the importance of collaboration and connection to other people. The words, the three words, made in China, means low quality. Hundreds and hundreds of people work sit side by side and touch every single product or piece that goes into that product was just it was eye opening to me. I never I've never experienced that before and it completely erased that stereotype that I had in my mind originally. Yeah. Uh, Chinese politics right now there's like it, you're what you're seeing is that like everybody there's an unspoken truth that everybody knows that like basically China has become capitalistic in a way. The Chinese economy is no longer socialist.